your boy Lieutenant AKA Two Chills in the building. Big shout out to Bobby Treacherous, our co-host, who's not here with us today. Salute, Bobby. What up? Get that Sour Diesel 2. It's still available on CheckItCheckIt.com. Absolutely, absolutely. Free download. Life beat video. Yo, but we are here. This is a, this is a privilege. It's a little treat for us. Something different out of the ordinary for us. Bro, I, I, I'm, I'm surprised. It's like a Friday night on a Tuesday. It's weird, isn't it? Yes, it is. But <laughs> it's just a testament to the fact that the show continues to grow and I continue to stand by the stamp. Hashtag Florida's hottest hip hop radio show. Believe me when I tell you. Certified, certified. We are joined today, professional boxer, fighter, if you will, but he is a boxer, not an MMA dude. We, uh, I let him introduce his, his official name. We know him as Hot Rod. What's going on, man? What's happening, man? The real name is Radi Kalajic, but everybody goes uh, by Hot Rod. That's Chicks love that, don't they? They do. We about Look, he tied it up. You can say it. And he just gave the, the roll of the tongue joint that the ladies like. <laughs> Look. Salute <laughs> to that, man. man. Thank you. Dope. But yo, uh, you're Serbian born, but you live here in. Yeah, I Saint lived in uh, St. Pete for about 12 years and uh, in Miami, too, now. Okay. How'd you end up over here? Uh, the war. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, you were a military? Real life. No, no, oh, uh, the war over in Serbia yeah, yeah, you're yeah. referring to. Oh, wow. Exactly. Okay, interesting. Okay. And uh, now that you're here, how did you get into boxing, bro? No, I always wanted to be dressed as a boxer. You know, I, li I like the little trunks, outfits, shirts, really? and everything, the shoes. I mean, so but I dressing up at the crib and going to the gym and getting no, punched no, in the face is very different. No, I, I went to the gym for about a week and I fell in love. Word. All right. I've been boxing ever since. Dope. He's undefeated, too. He's not just a, a boxer, man. Yeah, I mean. Record. That's what's up. You, yeah, all, you stayed light, you had light heavyweight, right? Yeah. Have you been in that? That division yeah, all along? Okay. My whole career, uh, okay. 175. Right. That's the weight class. Okay. Okay. And uh, eight knockouts. Yeah, six in the first round. Well, while, while we got you, you done put them fools on the canvas. Who you want to see, man? Who, who's, the, who's the person in your division that you like, I'm coming for you, kid? Honestly, I like I like to fight with Bernard Hopkins, but by the time I get up there, he's gonna retire. <laughs> That's, probably That's really reaching for the crown. Be hot. Yeah. <laughs> it's big, but yo, you know what? Like, I love it when young, young, young fighters want to go for that dude that's like, yo, you've been up there, but I'm going to knock you out anyway. Yeah, he's he never, he never been stopped, so I, I feel like I could do it. Yeah, his defensive game is incredible. Yeah, yeah. Like, really uh, he's real smart. amazing. Yeah, and he knows, the, like you said, yes, yeah, smart. He knows yeah. the science, real smart. Smart, dirty, everything. A he little got, bit, he yeah. Everything. He got everything. All right, so since he ain't going to be there, got to be another name. Who you going with? Uh, there's, I, don't know, I don't really know his name, but it's this Russian guy. He's, he's moving up top. And, okay. Uh, we're, we're, we're similar. I'm, I'm, everybody thinks I'm Russian too, oh, so it'll okay. be a little nice battle. All right. And I think I could beat him. Okay. He's 20 and 0 now. Oh, nice. Okay, so he's, he has a few more fights. Yeah, the, but uh, okay. right now I'm worrying about my next opponent, which will be Friday. Is Dante Woods, I believe. Okay. He's eight and one. Okay. With seven knockouts. So now, run that back. You said on this Friday you fight. This Friday, this Friday, yeah, Tampa, Florida. Dope. Where we're at? Where at we? The Alcar Tampa Valley. Oh, the Alcar Pavilion. Y'all know where that's at, family? Right over there, off of. Uh, what, the yeah, highway, go for... Yeah, then a short drive. Yes, exactly, exactly. They've been having fights, yeah, good right, fights yeah, over yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I know what you're yeah, talking I about. I fought a couple times, about six times. Okay, okay. So, uh, I know Alucard Pavilion very well. You know where it's at once you get over there, but it's off Memorial. Off there. Memorial. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. All right. So, and uh, what, what's his status? You said he was 8-0? No, no, uh, no he's eight, eight, 8 wins and 1 loss. It was 7 knockouts. Oh, okay. So he has seven knockouts, I have eight, so, so you looks already, like... You've already got the upper hand on him. Well, yeah, you can say that. Now, are you a, do you fight regular or southpaw? Uh, orthodox, I'm right-handed. Okay. Uh, yeah, and... Uh, but what would you say is your signature punch? Without, without giving away the game plan. The right hand? <laughs> right hand, punch yeah, for the right, right for that straight, right. Straight right hand. <laughs> All right. And uh, where are you training at? Um, right now in St. Pete, but uh, he was at training in Miami, Florida. Okay, I, mean, I live there now. I mean, is there any particular gym you want to shout out? I know boxers on that. You know, sometimes they got a lot of love for a particular gym. No, not really, because I've been just I've been going place to place. I mean, I want to give a shout out to my coach, uh, Willie Ellis. Mr. Ellis, what's happening with you? What's up, yo? What's up? What's up? Good to have you here, man. Are you from, from here, here or then like? Uh, I'm from California, actually. Okay. Yeah. There it is. But I linked up with Rod here in St. Pete, though. Okay. Yeah. And how long how long have you been in the fight game? Um, since probably 2002. Okay. Yeah. Did, you, okay. did you start as a coach or as a fighter? I did. I did. I started out training my son, and that's how he and I met. How's he progressing? Uh, you know, level and up. Speaks for itself. Speaks for itself. <laughs> Let the record start. Right. <laughs> you want to hit me up? You know. 
Um, do, you, do you work with any other fighters or just exclusive? Uh, not at the moment. At the moment, it's exclusively with Hot Rod, and, 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 and no, that's a good thing. And now, now, forgive me if I'm if I'm asking dumb questions, but it, is that typically how it is? One trainer just is that focused with a, a fighter, or are there some that do kind of work? With yeah, them? that's that's typically how the fight game works until you reach a status of a Freddie Roach or Emmanuel. Uh, Stewart. Right, God bless him. Uh, rest in peace for him. Yeah, yes. Other than that, you know, it's typically one fighter, all your focus is on him, and, right. you know, what else, what else happens after that happens. But typically it's just one fighter, yeah. Okay. okay. Makes sense. A lot of time, a lot of hours in there. Yeah, a lot but of hours. Yeah. A lot of good fighters have come out of St. Pete. You yeah. know, quite a number. Tucker, quite a, Lacey. Lacey, us. yeah. I mean, Winky, Winky yeah, Wright, for sure. Know. All of them coming out. Yeah, of talking about Lacey, um, might be fighting him uh, next month if. Is if that right? Yeah, so we, if, that would be a good fight. To the fight. We're trying to get that to happen. We're trying to get it to happen. Get yeah. that St. Pete. That St. Yeah, Pete. We need to help, help you lobby <laughs> for that. Let us know. Okay, for sure. We got to see that. But um, like, like he was saying off air, what are your thoughts on Mayweather in general? As a fighter and if you want to touch on old Pacquiao. Uh, smart businessman and he's going to he's gonna take Canelo out easy by points. Mm -hmm. I don't think he's going to get touched. Uh, uh, can, can, Mayweather's just too good. Are, are you oh, wait, wait, wait. Let me run that back. He, oh, you were talking about his upcoming mm -hmm. fights. Yeah, no, Mayweather's going to pick him apart. Oh, of course. Oh. So but, yeah. <laughs> but what do you think of him as a, a boxer, period? I mean, here, here, here's where I get upset with the presentation of Mayweather. People think that because he's so confident, mm -hmm. much like in hip-hop Kanye West, like it's to the edge of, of cockiness that... They, they don't, they'll start diminishing his record. Oh, he fought him after his they prime. the personality, oh, not the fighter. Exactly. No, but but as a fighter, the dude is undefeated for all of these fights, and he has fought legends. But you have to realize he that every, props. every time uh, he's cocky and uh, all that Mr. Cocky yeah. guy, bad guy, he's always... Um, Backed doing, it up. Or doing it for the fight. When you when you see him, when you see him uh, outside boxing, he's a normal, humble dude. He just does that for promotion. That's why he's the he's richest, smart businessman. Richest, pay, richest paid athlete. Hold on one second, we gotta take this call. Pirate Radio Invasion, you're live on the air. Hello, Pirate Radio. Alright, I guess it wasn't that important. Anyway, sorry, so proceed. No, I was gonna say he's a smart businessman, that's why he's the richest paid athlete. Hey, salute Floyd Mayweather, man. I I, I got love for you, bro. You know, I I, I've seen it happen to a lot of people outside of boxing, just in sports generally. You know, in fact, they tried to do it to Ali, bro. Like, when you overly cocky, when you like, no, I know I'm going to win. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, people like to hate you just a little bit because yeah. Yeah. they mad that you already have decided to fight in your own mind. You know what I mean? Like, once you've decided, you win, right? Exactly. <laughs> you gotta mentally decide right. early. If you don't, if you walk in, uh, nothing, you don't win. Or you lost or already. Second guessing yourself. Right. Yeah. Whether you whether you believe it or whether you, I forgot how that quote goes. Whether you believe you're right or wrong, you're right. <laughs> right. Like you're yeah. right because. Well, similar to hip hop, though, you know, uh, especially the fight game, but if not athletics, you know, aggression and confidence and all that is is an asset. That's something always. That, is expected of you. Yeah. You know, there's a certain amount of brashness and cockiness we want out of the yeah. fighter. Exactly. I mean, which is why I used to get a little mad with my green-eyed dude. I forget his name. Uh, the green-eyed fighter who, oh, the brought to my prince. No, no, he he was a, a <laughs> legitimate <laughs> contender for uh, Mosley. Mosley. Yes, I am. Yeah. I used to get mad, man, because. I mean, you're a nice guy. I, I feel you on the first touch the glove. After that, can we get a fight, bro? I don't oh, want yeah. you, you talk like. About, you talk about back yet? Yeah, man. Like, like, stop being so friendly, kid. Like, go in there and knock his head off, and then after the fight, you can hug him again. <laughs> it's all good. This is business. Well, and then you just touch on the Pacquiao uh, Mayweather thing. Yeah. Pacquiao didn't want to take the drug test, but yeah. now he's taking it for the, another opponent. Oh, he done cleaned up. Yeah. Well, he might as well take it. They put him on that boy. Put that boy on his back. That last <laughs> yo, they had him all over. <laughs> every know. every version of of Pacquiao laid out was crazy. I don't know if he's still gonna be the same fighter. Damn. After that knockout. But 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 even if he's not, much like our own Florida homegrown uh, Roy Jones wasn't the same after the knockout. Yeah, Look, my my deal is. Your, your record still speaks oh, yeah, for itself. Yeah, yeah. You're still a legend. I, say, I mean, it don't go away. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, so, so far in your career, what would you say has been like your most shocking moment, either for you or for the fans? Like, was there somebody that you stunned and you know that you weren't supposed to beat, that you were an underdog or anything like that, or, or any spectacular, crazy moments we need to know about? 
no, not yet. I mean, everybody uh, they put in front of me. I, I, I already predicted what I was gonna do, and it happened. So nothing, nothing. I mean, all the knockouts I got, they were out cold. That's something spectacular. <laughs> So anybody you want to uh, shout out in that room? Nah, I just want to give a shout out to uh, Alan Boogie Jones and uh, just my fans and everybody that support me. Teamhotrod.com, that's the easiest place to get hold of you guys? Yeah, right there. And uh, I was looking at it, there's some high resolution photos, a lot of stuff on there for the fans. Yeah, yeah. Um, are there any video clips? Uh, actually, there is on the my team, my the website, they have a couple, about, about 10, 15. But you could just put uh, go on YouTube and... Uh, Put my full name in was gonna be hard to do right. for a lot of people, but they got all got kind of all my almost all my fights and knockouts on there. So, well, definitely check out teamhotrod.com. I could stay here spelling his name all day and I'd still probably <laughs> mess it up. So, <laughs> teamhotrod.com, just like it sounds. Yo, a lot of good ton content on there. You know, we wish you luck definitely Friday. Thank, um, you, thank you, and I appreciate y'all for having me. Absolutely. We appreciate. We got a caller before you go. Let's see who's on the line. Pirate Radio Invasion, you're live on the air. Pirate Radio. I think they hung up just before hey. you. <laughs> I'm having luck with the phones today. It, it must be me, though. Nah, it's all good. Um, thank you for coming in, fam. No, no it's really going to. And, and, you know, good luck on Friday, like we said. Mm -hmm. And uh, keep you're doing your thing. Good. I'll be watching. I'm definitely a boxing all fan. Right. I watch. So. Oh, yeah, I mean, all right. Some time. Uh, Bet that. You know, keep us in the mix whenever you guys have stuff going on, brother. All right, well, for sure, for sure. Good luck. All right, Peace. Radio Invasion, keep us locked right here.